The United States Navy announced plans to upgrade between 35 and 96 Tomahawk cruise missiles to the latest Block V version, designed to improve strike capabilities against maritime targets. The move is part of the Strategic Weapons System modernization commitment that has been in place since 2020. According to an official statement, upgrade will begin in the second quarter of fiscal year 2026, with project implementation contingent on budget approval from Congress. The number of modernized missiles could also potentially increase, according to available funding allocations. This modernization will include two variants, Block VA, Maritime Strike Tomahawk, MST, and Block VB, each bringing significant improvements in terms of seeker systems and explosive power. Block VA will feature an advanced seeker system for hunting moving vessels at sea, as well as enhanced data processing capabilities. While Block VB will carry the Joint Multiple Effects Warhead System, JMEWS, a versatile warhead to hit a wide variety of targets. Both will also be equipped with the latest navigation and communication systems, a Navy Comp, to improve accuracy and flexibility during missions, including the ability to update targets while the missile is in the air. The Tomahawk is the U.S. military's flagship long-range cruise missile, which can be launched from warships and submarines, both belonging to the U.S. Navy and allies such as the British Royal Navy. First used in Operation Desert Storm in 1991, the system has continued to be developed through various generations. Earlier versions, such as the Block 3 and Block 4, Tactical Tomahawk, have introduced mid-flight mission update capabilities and direct-to-target reconnaissance via internal cameras. The Block 4, which is still in production today, has been used in various military operations, including in Libya and Syria. Since its inception, more than 2,300 Tomahawk missiles have been fired in combat operations. With this latest upgrade, the Tomahawk is set to remain a vital component of U.S. military strategy, answering the need for high precision and rapid response on the modern battlefield. This modernization move is also seen as part of the United States' strategy to strengthen its military position in the Indo-Pacific region. With rising tensions in the South China Sea and threats from regional powers such as China and North Korea, long-range precision missile capabilities are becoming increasingly crucial. Tomahawk Block 5 provides much-needed operational flexibility in future conflict scenarios, especially in dynamic maritime environments, said an unnamed U.S. defense official. In addition to technical improvements, the production and system integration contract is also expected to provide an economic boost to the domestic defense sector. Several major companies such as Raytheon Missiles and Defense are reportedly directly involved in this project. Tomahawk modernization is also considered to be in line with global trends that place technological superiority as a determinant of military power. Countries such as Russia and China are known to be developing hypersonic cruise missiles and cutting-edge air defense systems, making modernization a strategic move to maintain U.S. military superiority. Military experts predict that the Block 5 version will extend the Tomahawk service life by at least two decades, paving the way for technological collaboration with allied nations. With a wider range of potential uses, whether attacking surface targets, military installations, or enemy ships, the missile remains a key component in modern warfare scenarios that emphasize precision, speed, and flexibility. Along with these modernization efforts, 
The Pentagon has also begun exploring the integration of the latest version of the Tomahawk missile in joint military exercises with allies, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region. Countries such as Japan, Australia and the UK, already strategic partners of the US, are expected to benefit from the improved interoperability of these weapon systems. According to a Department of Defense report, the UK is currently in discussions with the US to upgrade its Tomahawk missile fleet to the Block V standard as part of a broader bilateral defense deal. Meanwhile, Japan has publicly expressed interest in strengthening its long-range strike capabilities amid regional tensions. We see Tomahawk as part of a collective maritime defense system, said a senior military official from the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. The presence of these missiles on Allied ships will extend their range and overall deterrence power. However, this upgrade process is not free from challenges. In addition to awaiting budget approval from Congress, the modernization exercise also faces technical and logistical issues, including updates to launch systems and software on the ships and submarines that will operate the new version of the missile. Some observers also caution that the development of the Block V variant must be accompanied by improved cyber defense systems and protection against electronic jamming, given the missile's high dependence on satellite navigation and communication systems. Overall, the modernization of the Tomahawk missile to the Block 5E standard reflects the United States' long-term strategy to maintain military superiority amid changing global security dynamics. By delivering significant improvements in seeker systems, warheads, navigation, and communications capabilities, Tomahawk is now more than just a conventional cruise missile, but a multifunctional weapons platform capable of meeting the challenges of the modern battlefield. This move also strengthens the U.S. position in maintaining the stability of the Indo-Pacific region and establishing closer interoperability with allied countries. At a time when other countries are racing to develop hypersonic missiles and advanced defense systems, the presence of Tomahawk Block 5 confirms that the U.S. is still serious about maintaining its strategic position through adaptive and proven effective technologies. Despite logistical and budgetary challenges, the Tomahawk upgrade remains a critical investment to strengthen the deterrence and operational readiness of the U.S. Armed Forces. With more than three decades of service and thousands of successful missions, Tomahawk continues to demonstrate that it is not just a weapon of the past, but an integral part of the future of United States military power. <laughs>